So in 2021, uh, we were still living in Montreal. Um, as everybody knows, 2021, uh, COVID was still going on. We had curfew, we had lockdowns, all the churches were closed. Hmm. Some of them did try and stay open, but then they would get in trouble and then it was just a lot. So we couldn't even see our families. It, like every household, if you were five in that household, no one. My mom couldn't come visit, my brother couldn't come visit. Yeah. It had to be just within that household. Our family down here, Dale's parents, Jordan, everyone, we're saying the conditions down here and how it was, and we figured, why not just go down there for a little while and then see what goes on, just because back at home, everything was closed. We came down, uh, would visit family, and the uh, kids finally got to see people. And I just remembered them being so secluded and isolated, and we were just always in the house. So coming down was uh, a blessing, um, getting to uh, a place in a church that was open and thriving. I hadn't been to church in probably a year, a year and a half, mm -hmm. and that's hard. Um, I used to be employed at a church, so church was a four or five time a week thing. We actually came down uh, both on work visas. Uh, we were super blessed to uh, both get a work visa. The work visas are three years. Towards the end of that third year, we started looking to see, okay, what's our next step? The story starts in 2013 um, when I started the paperwork for uh, legal immigration into the U.S. And the process has been uh, a lot longer than anyone would have thought. Um, it just keeps getting delayed, delayed, delayed. So um, when we got our work visas, we assumed um, that coming here with three years, our other uh, immigration status would kick in, we'd have a green card, we'd be good. And as the months uh, started going in that third year, we realized there is no solution. The mountain kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And in April, when we had to um, try and go back to Canada. We wanted to make sure um, we could stay. And with the boys too, with the school and community here and the church and family and friends, they really wanted to stay. And during that whole time, even here at CLF, this series was out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And then in my personal time, it was reading all about out of Egypt. It was just reminding me that you will be out of Egypt soon. There is a light um, at the end of the tunnel. But through the, those few years, he really prepared uh, for us to be here. And that's one of the things that as we hit 2024 and all of a sudden all the doors are closing, we're saying, wait a second, we found our church. We found our home church. We found our home as a family with all of, um, a lot of my family is here. And then the friends, the community around us that have become family. And the, to just to see how much the boys have grown in a spiritual way, that, that for any father is really big. And I was like, Lord, if, if this is where we're not supposed to be, I can't imagine you know, any, any other place because the boys are thriving spiritually here. July 12th was when we uh, finally got news on our last attempt. I get a call um, from, um, from somebody in the passport uh, department and it was a 30 minute conversation of why her and her boss decided that I wasn't gonna get my passport. And those 30 minutes, um, they hit me hard. And right away, as soon as they got off the call, I texted our community because we have such a beautiful community and everybody was praying for us. And I just started sending out texts, now's the time to pray. When Dale got home and he told me the news, I look like this but I just couldn't. And then when he got home and told me, then that was it. I was done, I was done. She calls me back 45 minutes later and she says, hey, I just wanna let you know, we're gonna process your application. And she says, no, we're, we're gonna give you your passport. You're now a citizen of the United States. And then we got home and the Johansson had decorated our house. Yeah. You can take over. I'll take over, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, that day was a celebration. I think we can sum it up with that, where um, when you have a community that prays for you um, and prays for you day in, day out, to finally see those months of prayer come and to see a victory, um, you've got to live it to understand what we were feeling. We agreed to do testimony service. It had been a few months that we had the great news and we were all in celebration for those months. And the next day, um, talking to the lawyer, all of a sudden it just became that same mountain again. Mm -hmm. And um, that was hard. 
That was hard to go from a, such a huge victory and a community victory with the Lord where everybody you know, was with us and celebrated to go back to, wait a second, we're still going through uh, another process. Uh, there's still uncertainty, uh, but I'll say this, from my, uh, from my viewpoint, um, I'm living it very differently. Even in this season right now that we're going through where we've gotten a victory and then all of a sudden things have happened again, um, we're choosing to stand firm, right? We stood firm and we're gonna stand firm as a family, um, just knowing that he's got the victory.